this Halloween I'm gonna get even with you. Good morning, fall is upon us, the best season. Let's have a fall day. First things first, one of the best things of fall, the pumpkin flavors. We're doing a lot of that today. There will be several pumpkin coffees, but if you know me, we start out with protein coffee. Let's do it. I really don't have any seasonal mugs for like any season. Maybe we'll change that today. But first, oat milk. Heat it up. Pumpkin spice latte protein. This is my first form. It's kind of orangey, isn't that so fun? Seasonal coffee drinks are one of my favorite little joys. They're so fun. They make everything better. I just sipped on my coffee, you know, started my day, but I have to show you what I made the other day. These cute little pumpkin muffins. They're supposed to be like protein pumpkin muffins. I use good ingredients and I use that protein powder that I put in my coffee this morning. So I've been having these for breakfast like every day and it's just been making my week. Aren't they beautiful? They were super easy to make. However, not gonna lie, I wish they were a little bit sweeter. I will link the recipe, so just keep that in mind. They're a great breakfast, especially if you're like me, someone who loves like bakery item, pastries, things like that. However, they're not like loaded with sugar, you know? Pumpkin day today. Two for two so far. Fall really is the best weather. Like I'd love to be outside in the fall, the fresh air, like it just, it's, it's so right. Besides the fact that it's gloomy out today, but the leaves are starting to change outside where I live. So we're gonna go on a nice walk. Typical morbid fashion as well. Any vlog style video will always involve a walk. It's the first time of the season that I literally put a jacket on to go walk, which is kind of crazy. Let's hope we don't get rained on. Come on, let's go. Another thing I absolutely love about fall is fall fashion. I actually used to post a lot more fashion content and when the fall hits, I am like back to my fashion girly roots. So I wanna show you a few fall shoes and bags. These items are all by Vivaya and I've actually worked with Vivaya before. So a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Vivaya is a super awesome, like chic footwear brand and their pieces are stylish but super sustainable and eco-friendly. All of their products are made with recycled materials. All of their shoes are very like stretchy and comfortable and good for all day wear and they are worn and loved by a ton of different celebrities including Selena Gomez which I got a pair of shoes that she has worn so these are the ones that were worn by Selena Gomez they're very Chanel-esque and I really think they encapsulate kind of like the ballet flat trend but I like a heel better than a ballet flat so they were like perfect for me they're very very classy they are so comfortable they bend and form with your feet but they don't form creases because of their kind of knitted material I also have these square toe heeled boots of course course you need a little black booty they're just always a must-have especially for the fall going into the winter and they kind of form to you like a sock super bendable and comfy because of this knitted kind of material it's just perfect and the chunky heel makes it very stable to walk in these literally go with any outfit ever and then I had to get these I love these they are pretty sturdy okay I'm gonna wear these out of the house today you could totally wear them inside as regular in-house slippers but like I could wear them to run a little bit of errands they're gonna hold up I love the like Sherpa that's part of the reason I love the fall and the winter is like this material I go crazy for. Last, but very much not least, I am a huge handbag girly and I fell in love with this. It's a cute little shoulder bag, but it's also kind of bigger, so it holds a lot of stuff. I love the shape of it. It's just perfect, it says fall. Honestly, you could wear this any season, but it does make sense right now, of course. And I do love the material of it. It feels similar to the shoes, a little less stretchy almost, you know, because the bag doesn't need to stretch, so it's still a structure to it, right? Because if you put your stuff in your bag, you don't want it like sagging down. It has that structure. It's the third anniversary of the founding of Avaya and they're having a pop-up in New York So you should definitely check it out if you're local I can offer you 12% off with my code Morgan 12 again a big thank you to Avaya for sponsoring this video Let me show you today's outfit and let's get out the door. Here is the full outfit I'm wearing my little new slippies to run around in for a little bit some yoga pants my new brown bag Which I can wear it as a little shoulder bag, which is perfect fits everything I need and then I have this little friends giving shirt I know it's not close to Thanksgiving yet, 
but it's fall themed, right? And I love it. I love friends. It just makes sense. And my little orange reusable Dunkin' Cup. A lunch date and a fall target run. That's what we need to do today. It's literally not even 11 a.m., but I've been up since before six, so I am ready for lunch. We're gonna go to Sweet Green and get the Harvest Bowl. Sweet Green just recently came to Madison, and I tried them for the first time, and it was so good. So we're going back, and like a Harvest Bowl is fall, right? On theme with the video. Let's go. Can I get the harvest bowl? Yeah. I am so excited for this. Oh my gosh. I got a free piece of bread with it. Last time they didn't ask, but it's like not extra charge or anything. So I figured why not? Oh my goodness. How good does it look? We have sweet potato, apple, chicken, some sort of nuts, rice, goat cheese, kale, some sort of dressing. I am in love with this. I've only had it once before, but it was so good. POV, we just picked up Sweet Green and we are outside of the Target and we're gonna chow down on a nice, good, healthy, rainbowy lunch before we go shop for fall stuff. There's no date I'd rather be on than this right now. This just felt right because it's called the Harvest Bowl and it's very fall-esque, you know, the sweet potato, it's just, it just feels right. And I love a good, healthy and like well-rounded meal. So this was fueling me in all sorts of ways. And I just saw a puppy, so that makes things even better. Just while I was driving through the parking lot, so it's not like I got up close, but still. I haven't done the actual like traditional carving pumpkins and stuff like that in a long time actually. But I wanna know, no matter where you are, what is your number one favorite thing about fall? So I bought a pumpkin because I want to do a craft with it, essentially turning it into a vase. However, all the flowers at Target were like dead and moldy and not good. So we might run to the grocery store later. And then I also got a Tree Hut pumpkin spice latte body scrub. Ooh, I like that. I know, is it yummy? I also got a candle. I know it's not crazy like fall or pumpkin-y themed, but the reason I got this one is because I like this container it's in. I thought it would be a really good one to reuse and that is, I don't know, what I was looking for because I don't like to just throw them away, you know? This is pumpkin woods. I do like the vanilla pumpkin and the really sweet flavors, don't get me wrong, but this one's just better. I also got just this cutie little pumpkin. It was literally a dollar and it matches another one I have, I'll show you. And I got the Reese's jack-o'-lanterns for a little treat, cause why not? You know how they always have like the Reese's eggs during Easter? Those are the best, but they have the jack-o'-lanterns, so it's perfect. They're just much better than a regular Reese's peanut butter cup, you know? I also needed just a couple other random things. See, I have this cute little pumpkin. So this one kind of goes with it. Actually, I don't like how they look together. <laughs> I do think I want the candle in my room, at least for tonight, cause I really want to like cozy up, you know, maybe put on a red light, little Halloween movie moment. So I think I'm just gonna throw it on like one of these shelves. Pumpkin Woods, I'm excited. It's really good, honestly, if you go to Target, Look for pumpkin woods because it's pumpkin-y, but it's still like, I don't know, I like that woodsy. It's not too much. It's great. I don't typically do a ton of seasonal decorating. However, I think maybe once we move, because we will be living in an apartment, since it's a smaller space, maybe I will. Also, I thought these were going to have faces on them. They don't have faces. <laughs> oh, well. So good. Since I do the pumpkin spice protein coffee every morning, well, if I have coffee in the afternoon, I love this stuff. And I know this stuff cannot be good for you, right? There's probably, I haven't even looked at the ingredients, but I'm sure there's lots of sugar, things they can't pronounce, additives, whatever. So I want to attempt to make my own pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I just looked up a bunch of recipes on TikTok and I'm going to kind of guess. They're all a little bit different. And it, obviously it's your preference too. I will write the measurements in the caption. I'm using half and half. I've seen it made with both half half and half and your choice of milk. Pumpkin puree, maple syrup, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, vanilla extract, dash of salt. I think putting in a mason jar is smartest. Not only am I gonna froth it, but I can shake it to really try to mix it up. How cute would it be if I put orange food color in here? I don't have any, but that would be adorable. Now let's put it in action and make an iced latte with it. All right, the new creamer. Gonna add a good amount of it. And some oat milk. And an iced pod. Is 
The creamer really does smell good. Mmm. Like, so good. Like, better than the other one, the International Delight one. Although, I'm a little nervous. It's not very sweet. It's like it needs more sweetness, less cinnamon. I like cinnamon, but I feel like it's too cinnamony. Hmm. Not bad, though. The good thing about this is, like, you can customize it however you want. So, next time, maybe I'll add more maple syrup to sweeten it up, something like that, and just develop it as I go. And then, eventually, I'll find my perfect recipe. I will very much still enjoy this, though. <laughs> like, it's good. I just... I like it a little sweeter. We are off to the grocery store so we can get flowers for the pumpkin vase. All right, let's do this. I'm actually really excited. This is a fun decoration too because it's like, I didn't just go buy it from Target where like everyone else in the world has it, you know? I'm like making my own. How cute. And then maybe tonight we can bake the seeds. I don't know what kind of seasonings you put in those, but if I have all the seasonings, we are definitely doing that. It would have been much cuter if I went to like a pumpkin patch or something. And I, you know, I could have gone by myself. Those are more fun to do with people, right? I'm not gonna carve like a face or anything cause I don't know, don't really need to. Okay. I mean, I literally, I don't, I don't know how to. Just gonna start collecting. I got two different kinds. This mason jar fits right in, so I'm just gonna fill this up. That's kinda cute. Okay, wait, isn't this actually kinda cute? I think I like how it turned out. Aw. It's literally adorable. I'm so happy I did this. Also, it did not take long at all. Like, you know when you're little and you're carving pumpkins and it takes all night? Obviously, I didn't like, carve out a face or anything. All I did was the top and like gutted or whatever, but it like took me a couple minutes. So, add this to your fall craft list. It was so quick and it's adorable. That's not a decoration I'm gonna outgrow at least if my style changes because it expires eventually. <laughs> I hope it stays for a while. I washed the outside. I think it's so cute. It just turned out way better. In the beginning, I was a little nervous. I am a huge soup girly, and now is the perfect time to get back into the soup grind soup era. I prepped a bunch of ingredients, and I currently have chicken in the oven. We are making the chicken gnocchi soup from Olive Garden. Obviously, it's a copycat recipe. I found this on Pinterest, and I have made it before, and it turned out so good, so we're making it again. I actually made the wrong recipe. I had two of them pinned, so I'm gonna link the one that I like better. First up, olive oil with celery, onions, garlic, and carrots. Next is chicken broth, salt, pepper, thyme, and chicken. Now we add the gnocchi. Set a three minute timer. Time for the half and half and the spinach. Ah! It looks so good. Does it not look exactly like the chicken gnocchi soup from Olive Garden? It seriously does. This is totally the best soup from Olive Garden. I recently got a Ninja Creamy and I prepared some pumpkin ice cream, so we're gonna make it tonight. I really hope it's good, but I am nervous that it's not gonna be sweet enough. I wanna give this just a few minutes to sit out and thaw so it's not super hard. While we do that, let's put together the pumpkin seeds. I looked up a couple different recipes and some say to like boil your seeds and whatever, whatever, and to be honest, I just don't have the energy. I don't have it in me to do all that work. So I washed and dried them and I'm just gonna throw on some olive oil and mix them up and throw on some Lowry season salt. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. Alexa, set a 20 minute timer. 20 minutes, starting now. Here it is. After just one spin, 
honestly pretty darn good. Okay, I just spun the ice cream and I think I added a little bit too much liquid because at first, it looked like good custard. Now it's a little bit more like soft serve, which that's really personal preference, right? But it's pretty darn good. It's very pumpkin-y. And I was right, I would like it just a touch sweeter, but that's just because I have a major sweet tooth. But it's good. Mmm. This is literally made from milk, protein powder, pumpkin puree, and I think just cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. And I added a little bit of vanilla pudding mix, like the powdery packet stuff. Mm. I wish I had like a little caramel drizzle to put in. That'd be so good. And I definitely burnt a little bit of the pumpkin seeds. See some over here like a little done, but you know, they're, they're okay. Holy crap, I really loaded on the salt. They'd be good if I did like half as much seasoning. Oh my goodness. It's fall, y'all. I just used the pumpkin tree hut scrub that I picked up from Target all over my body in the shower. It was so nice. We must light the candle, pumpkin woods. I'm excited. This Halloween, I'm gonna get even with you. I'm gonna go summer dip, I'm gonna go find my boo. If you ain't scared, we can disappear in this dark room. This Halloween. What a fall day. It is the best time of year. I hope you're enjoying it. Again, check out Vivaya. I'll have everything in the description box. And you can use my code MORGAN12 for 12% off. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you in my next one.